Christina Guthrie, Genaris, 2013 Dear Addie, I know how you feel about traveling at night, especially in bigger cities with the infected and lurking around every corner, but I just couldn't help myself. I was so close to our old stomping grounds that I could practically taste it. The ferris reel at the south end of town, and our old rental house up north. I was so close, Addie. Too close to be sensible. First I went to the ferris reel at the waterfront. I was curious to see if it was still standing. It is. Oh, Addie, it is. And even in the dark, with no music and the wheels not turning, it still filled me with this surge of memories and warm feelings that I haven't felt in ages. There was a bittersweet moment, of course, being there without you. But it's what I have left of you now, and I make do with that. I'll make sure to go back when the sun is out, to properly take it in. Next thing I went to the house, where I'm sitting right now. The lock is broken. Someone must have broken in at some point, but everything else seems in fine order. Now, I don't know how to go about fixing a lock, but I reckon I can build myself a gate to secure the place. I want to stay here. It's the last place we were truly happy before everything fell apart in the world, so... Yeah. This is where I want to be. The weather is terrible outside tonight. It's pouring down. My clothes are all drenched and laid out in front of the fireplace to dry. Oh, hopefully they're dry by tomorrow. I have plans to go down back to the waterfront. I saw some sort of settlement down there earlier that I want to check out. It had a bright flag raised, a pumpkin patch out front, and I'm almost certain I saw movement up in their watchtower by the gate. I wasn't about to go investigate in the dark, though. I do have more sense than that. No matter what you might think of me, Addie. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Addie.